All right, when I went to Comic-Con last year and I went to the Mesco booth and I saw this Punisher sitting on the shelf, I couldn't pre-order it quick enough. And like Mesco always does, they can't just sell you one. They usually sell you three. So they're giving you this one. This is probably the one you want to pass on. The deluxe one, that's probably the one you're going to want to get. And then they're doing another one real similar to this one with a red skull on his chest. I'm probably going to get all three. Let's check them out. Okay, this Punisher is the reason why I collect Mesco. This thing is action figure perfection. Like, it doesn't get any better than this. And just real quick, you see the scruff on his face? When they made that Batman without the scruff on his face, I like said something on Instagram. Some dude was like, oh, they can't do that. Well, obviously, they can. Because that was like one of my only complaints about that toy. As if they would have put a little scruff on his face, I think it would have made for a nice, a, a nice improvement on it. But here is a scruff. So they definitely can do it, and they do it very well. Let's get a better look at them. Alright, so here's a close-up look at this Punisher, and as you see, this head sculpt is absolutely perfect. Like, it couldn't be any better. And then we got these other two. This is kind of like the normal face. He's still a little beat up. He's always a little beat up. Perfect job on that. The five o'clock shadow is perfect on there. And then he's got like the battle damage head, which is really cool. Like I was kind of on the fence about using this one or this one because I like them both. I went with the screaming face, but I'll probably use this head on the next one that I get because I'm probably going to get all three of these. And this toy, just real quick, man, he's really good. I like the, the clothes. They like got him little elbow pads on there. It almost kind of seems like if they could kind of make this toy dirty, that would really be the only way that they can improve on it because he's just too clean. Like a little mud on the boots, a little scuff here and there. Like he has these beat up faces. It'd be nice if his clothes was a little beat up as well. But if not, it's pretty cool. Like they tried to do that on his pouches a little bit, but it'd be nice if they could get this fabric. Like I don't know how they do it. Smear a little mud on it, something. Do something like that. And then... This figure is so good, it makes me hate this Captain Rogers even more. See, because the belt is the same belt. This one has that front, the three front, front pouches on it. On this one, they just took that off. But if you turn these figures around, you see it's the same exact belt. Now, it's the Punisher belt, not the Commander Rogers. So they reused it for Commander Rogers. And for 80 bucks, I don't want reused parts. I want a brand new toy. This Punisher comes with three heads. This Commander Rogers came with one head, and it's the same head that you gave us in the other two caps. So, worst figure you ever did, and this one is right on par with all your other ones that are amazing. So, really good job on this. Let me go over some of these accessories because they are just freaking nuts. So, here's this grenade launcher. The stock of the gun goes down. I think it kind of goes down too far. It'd almost be cooler if you could kind of take this off. And then you swing this thing up like this. And then you take these grenades, this comes out, and then you can actually like dump these things out. So hold on, let me grab one of them here. And then these things are like separate. So that's really cool. So you can put those in there and that, it's really nice touch. They really killed it on this. Here's his, here's his other gun that he comes with. The detail on this is just perfection. Like the sculpt, paint, everything about it is perfect. They went the extra mile once again. The clip, it comes with two clips and they painted a bullet in there. Like, shit just don't get any better than that. Like that, that, that that's perfect. Like you can't, it's, it's amazing. Like I'm really impressed with that. Then he also comes with the pistol and I'm actually gonna give this pistol that shitty Commander Rogers. Hold on, let me get this thing to focus. There you go. I'm gonna give this pistol to Commander Rogers cause he's supposed to come with pistols, but he didn't. And I'm sure we're going to have tons of extra guns from the Punisher. So that's where this thing's going. And they also did it here too. Like this tiny little clip comes out. I just dropped it, but I got it. We're safe. And it also has a bullet in it. 
and then they also give you two clips with that. And then they give you this gun and this bullet tip, like look at that, that's actually a bullet at the end of that thing. So you got like this fire coming out of the gun and then a bullet. I don't think anybody's ever did that for before. That is like the best effect ever. And it gets even better than that because this thing plugs in while well, the plug came out. That really wasn't supposed to happen. All right, so that comes out. I guess I'll put that back in the effect later. Should just plug right in. And then you got the gun. So you can take that bullet effect and plug it in the other gun if you want to too, or probably other guns that he's coming with. And then this thing also comes with two clips and has a bullet in there too. Like, that's just, I'm really impressed with that. Mesco really killed it with this thing. And then let me show you, so as far as that scruff thing goes, like here's the Batman that I was talking about that I wish they would have put scruff on it. Like they did it here, could you imagine how much better that Batman would have looked like with the little scruff on his face? Because I've never seen scruff done this good. Like this is like some hot toy shit like here. That thing is perfect. Let me do a few comparisons for you. So as you see, there is no shortage of Punishers in this house. But none of them add up to this Mezco. Like, I got some pretty decent Punishers back there. But, I mean, I almost kind of wish I could sell some of these. But for some reason, I just can't let go. And that's why I have so many. I'm pretty sure I got every one. If you see one that I'm missing, let me know in the comments. But there's the Mezco. I'm going to throw them up at the collection. And we'll check that out. Okay, here's the Mezco collection. It's really shaping up. Love those Batmans. Like the caps. Daredevil is amazing. And now I'm really digging this Punisher. Thanks for watching.